Welcome back again, ROM lovers. My name is Jami and I represent Ready Set ROM. And today we have Worthy Parts 13 year old. This is a barrel pick from the Florida ROM Society. And arguably, some may say this is the best that Worthy Park has to offer. All right, today we're gonna get in it. Now you guys know I have reviewed both their single reserve estate and the 12 year from Worthy Park. Check out in the links down below. Check out on my Jamaican rum reviews because I got all my Jamaican rum reviews there. I've done a lot. There's a lot of Jamaican rums out there. I've reviewed a lot of them, right? But today, Worthy Park estate. All right, so if you guys haven't, you know, listened to my speech and my spiel before Worthy Park, Worthy Park established in 1670, Worthy Park Estate is a true single estate producer, thousands of acres of their own sugar cane are sourced for the molasses used during distillation in a 100% copper pot still. This traditional Jamaican rum is aging once used, American white oak, bottled at car strength without any additives. Will Worthy Park Single Estate Barrel Series gives you authentic representation of Jamaican rum. So this is imported into the US by Bar, Bar Project LLC. Um, all Worthy Park is by them, so you buy wholesale, you have a liquor store, that kind of stuff. Um, that's who you reach out to for Worthy Park rums. Bar, Bar Project LLC to Worthy Park. And the guy online that you reach out for any Worthy Park information is Zan Kong. Zan is at every liquor. He's on all the, the liquor blogs. He's online. He's on the website. He's at the Rum Congress. He's everywhere. All right. So this is 56%, and the mark is WPM, right? Which is their medium mark. Estate distilled, aged, and bottled. And this is the medium mark. I think someone was saying that the 12 year was the light mark. I don't know how because the light mark to me is a bit more funky the 12 years a bit more funky than this one all right let me not get into the tasting notes as yet all right let's get to the bottle the bottles are amazing the same bottles as the as the single estate and the 12 oh you get your seal ready you, so on the single you don't you the single and the 12 you used to get a box a nice present a nice box the 30 you didn't get a box but honestly i don't know why oh, I, I don't need to pay for a box like should i get a box i don't know it's whatever right but same thing same seal i really like to cut these with a knife let's get the pop okay decent pop uh composite cork it looks pretty real the top is wood it has a worthy park seal on there so definitely worthy park presentation is really good the glass below here it's like an inch and a half crazy thick it's kind of hollow on the inside so it makes it taller makes it look more rich more expensive all right we do a little pour here oh man good pour good color i'm smelling it i poured it like what nearly two feet from my face and immediately i am smelling the alcohol a little bit spilled on my hands but it's it's Ooh, it's good it's smells like worthy park smells like the other ones but sweeter smoother i get more prunes than before it was a lot more i don't know the flavors on there was was not the flavors on the 12 and the and the and the single cast wasn't my favorite this one is more lined up with my type of nose but definitely you can smell the woody back in there as well. A little bit hot on the nose. This is 56%. So, car strength. What else could you expect from it, right? Yeah, you definitely get some of those nice prunes, dates, those deeper fruits. We definitely get that worthy park. What would I call that worthy park smell that I get? I'm not sure, but there's always a... It's almost, is that one of what these people, what everyone says is like varnish or paint or something. There's a, a funkiness in there that's not, 
you know, it's not like an edible smell. It's not like a, a fruity. It's not like a, like a flowery. It's more on that chemical type of side, you know. I don't know. I don't know what, what people typically refer to that as. But there's definitely some of that in there, but it's just not as prominent, right? So this is the medium mark. Definitely so far from all my my apples, no, my worthy park tastings. This is definitely the best on the nose so far. I definitely gotta do some of the lower end stuff. I just got the I got the worthy park select a while ago. That's also a good one. I just got one from from Europe. One of those independent bottler ones. I gotta compare those two. I'll let you know what I think about that. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends because more of the Worthy Park rum reviews are coming soon. This is my third one. I'm definitely, honestly, I might just do a fourth one right after this one. All right, so look at the legs. There's some pretty defined beads there coming down. Took its time pretty big pretty slow so definitely representative of a 13 year Jamaican yes. good body good good body good feel you know definitely should get a good mouth feel off of this one all right guys let's go for the tasting mm. Woo. all right so definitely True Worthy Park flavors. Definitely some more fruitiness there. Love the fruitiness on it. Um, some good stuff. You know, it's really hard. All right, to me, Worthy Park is such a unique flavored rum. It's always hard for me to get all the flavors on there. Getting a little bit of brininess. A little bit, maybe coconut or something on there. Definitely some nice sweet fruit. Honestly, sometimes it also reminds me of the of some of the rums you may get from St. Lucia distillers. Still a bit more funky, but definitely getting some St. Lucia distillers vibes there. Mm -hmm. Mm. Good stuff. It's dry. I'm not extremely dry. It's not like pulling my jaws, pulling my cheeks or anything. Very flavorful. Finish is pretty long. There's something else there. There's some. Uh, first thing came to my mind was like some sort of metal nails or something. All right. So a lot of times I do compare, especially rums that I'm struggling with. I do compare to other rum experts right typically i go on the blogs and stuff like that and i get me some reviews however this being such a unique and rare rum um couldn't really find much reviews oh but my friend mike hooker he's from austin i think he's austin austin liquor society is where he's at and he actually did a review and he posted it on reddit right i think his his username on reddit is like Mike Hooker one, I think that's what it was. But he did a review. He went into a lot of details, which I love. So I'm gonna basically just read through some of the stuff that he said. Um, this is the Worthy Park 2007. It was bottled in 2020. Um, WPM 13 year for the Rum Society Gemini Barrels. Called Gemini Barrels because they got two of them. So they said they, they thought they ordered one. Turns out they actually ordered two. Right, so twin barrels releasing 432 barrel selected by Florida Rum Society, true estate rum, everything the molasses, everything came comes from, from Worthy Park. Right, aged for 13 years in the St. Catherine's Parish, Jamaica. Right, and the ester levels for the Worthy Park medium mark is 120 to 239, which honestly is kind of low, but the thing about it is. Esters give you flavor, but not all esters are good esters, right? Not all esters give you flavor. So, and esters from Hamden flavor compared to, I, I, honestly, I find for this being so low, 
the flavors in Worthy Park. The flavors you get at, at, at say 200 and something Estama in Worthy Park is way more taste flavors than I would get from Hamden. Because at Hamden, I think I would have to hit like the 300 mark, right? Past 300, like the they're stolen or they're younger or something to get more flavor than what I'm getting on this, right? So definitely, all esters aren't made equal. All esters don't give you the same flavors, and you know, all efforts don't have the same amount of flavor. So to me, even at only 239 ma um, um, esters, this is still very high in flavor, right? So he had purchased from the Sarasota Liquor Locker. Um, I bought it straight off the Florida Rum Society website. So if you want this rum, Florida Rum Society has it. Uh, I am not sure if they ship out of state. I think they do, uh, but definitely reach out to them. Reach out to Florida Rum Society. Try to order it. If you can't order it, reach out to um, J Florida Rum Society or um, Sarasota Liquor Locker. Reach out to those guys and you can get this rum. He says how he sampled it. He said four nights Neat with a Glen Karen over four over four nights, right? Sitting twenty to thirty minutes each session. Man, this guy has long sessions. Four nights. Hmm. The nose just gets better. On the nose, he says confetti cupcakes, banana foster, cinnamon toast crunch, rich molasses, molasses yes, cotton candy. Hmm. Hint, brine. I did get brine. Fresh oil of antique furniture. Did I say varnish? I think at some point I said it's almost like varnish. Um, coffee or spice, I don't know about coffee or all spice. But I did get the orange peel, mulling spice, green apple. All right, so I got a few of those. Man, I probably gotta start doing this on over four nights. Quintessential Jamaican funk. I do get some funk, I don't know if it's quintessential, but it is, it's funky. It's funky. I do get the oils, I do get the brine, molasses. There's some sweetness there. I'm not sure which of these many things he got. He got cupcakes, banana fosters, almost like a, a honey or a, or a maple or something. No, I'm getting some, some nice light sweetness on there. Hmm, maybe that's a banana foster he's talking about. Hmm. Cinnamon toast crush. Man, Mike got some notes here. All right, so on the mouth feel, he says silky smooth mouth feel. A simple syrup like texture of sweetness. Mm. No, I don't agree with that one. It's pretty good mouthfeel. But silky smooth mouthfeel? Not really. It's a good mouthfeel. It's a soft mouthfeel. Um, but syrup like texture of sweetness? No. Sweetness, yes, but not syrup like at all. It's a nice bright bright fruitiness delicate funkiness correct he says overripe pineapple asparagus slightly off milk i would say slightly off milk you know as i said there's, there's some there's some odd notes that you usually get from woody park and it's not really like that hard and that's why i wasn't too much a fan of the other two but this one um there's just a bit more fruity and sweet notes there to counteract some of the things like slight off milk. He says they all trash in the best possible way. <gasps> oh man, hmm. they all trash, man. There's an odd thing I'm getting on this note. Maybe that's they all trash. No, I tell you, Woody Power has some weird notes on there, man. Hmm. There's a sweet brininess on the end of that. Let me pour some more. Man, so honestly, I got this rum first from, from Chris. Chris Twigs. I got this rum. I got a rum sample from Chris Twig from Chris Twigs. I was like, wow. I was like, man, I gotta buy a bottle. I, I hesitated a long time to buy a bottle. But I knew I had to buy a bottle. After tasting from Chris from Chris, I'm just so good so like it's it, honestly just the best that honest to me is the best worthy bag ever ever made um i bought the first two i have now five worthy pack bottles 
and this is definitely the best one um, let's continue on with some more stuff he said the day will trash and he says some aniseed and nutmeg here's some spices in there i could taste teriyaki juki never had it don't know what that is that brown sugar yes um heavy oak spices heavy oak spices funny thing even i do get the, the heavy oak spices even after 13 years in jamaican heat the wood does the wood is not stronger or as strong as the rum and the rum flavor which just speaks to how much flavor you get on a worthy park rum it's crazy there's just a lot more flavor on a worthy park rum that even at 13 years cash rent the wood still plays a second fiddle to all the tasting notes like as he said it like i'm reading here and i'm like i'm trying to figure it out oh and he does say treacle which is the sweetness i i think i was getting just it's like he said syrup like texture i said no he said sweetness yes overripe bananas he said dill trash he said a bunch of stuff here but and i did say i was getting like a honey maple type flavor which i think is the treacle i definitely got the heavy heavy oak spices but they still play background to the the flavors the 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 the, the flavors of woody park rum black tea triple sec mm -hmm. and a bit of character like a play-doh character hmm. i think he's that, that i haven't had played in a long time <laughs> he said a play-doh character that i get from wheated bourbon play-doh maybe he's what he's saying is play-doh it's kind of like what i think is like varnish well, it is a kind of chemical -y kind of thing that flavor profile um a touch of floral and orange peel yeah just like it's it's so some of these flavors like floral orange peel it's just so light like i know i got some fruitiness i got some sort of citrus but it's just so light on this thing some of these notes um his final thoughts this warms my soul and melts my heart it's absolutely delight my absolute favorite worthy back expression today hands down i agree it's not that it brings anything spectacular new or unusual but just fantastically well balanced expression it has depth of flavor and moderate but not overpowering proof that makes it easy to drink so much so that every time i pour a drum i reward myself with a second and usually a third because the lingering flavors of my mouth at the end Oh, and the finish of this thing is really long it's and it's pleasant that, that's the thing and I, I think he's right it's like the flavor notes here and unusual to worthy park right but it's just a way more balanced rum right it's just it the other worthy park rums to me needed more sweetness it needed more more fruity notes it needed more orange it needed more trigger all these notes it needed to become more balanced right to me the single estate was better than the 12 and the 12 is like 140 150 bucks and the single estate is 60 bucks 60 70 bucks and the single estate is like six to ten years right and the the 12 is just straight 12. the mark in which they used for the 12 was just it lacked that sweetness that softness that is needed for a, a great rum right and this is only 90 bucks so 90 bucks 90 bucks and it is very 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 good very good like i can't lie like i might say the same thing here um you know i love when i when i i know other people who are more experienced in the rum game and we basically share similar notes and similar appreciation for rum you know like there's certain rums i really like and this is definitely one of them um thanks to chris twigs for putting me on with you know by giving me the sample and you know that really convinced me that i gotta get this one right so mike is pouring second and third glasses you know the lingering mouth feel the warming that it brings you know he just thinks it's like an ideal winter time drum honestly i could drink every night 
and I have. <laughs> so Mike has been drinking and writing for quite some time. And then he goes into, hey, if you can snag a bottle, highly recommend it. Absolute steal at a hundred dollar retail. It was like ninety dollars, but hundred dollars still good. Uh, the twelve year bottle, same proof, lower mark, which was the WPL. And he bought it for around one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, while this one is a lovely expression, he personally feels it's hard to justify the price point for what it delivers. He's somebody 12 here at this point. This one I thought, an extra year in the barrel, increasing esters just comes to life. If you continually release, I'll plow through several bottles a year. Whereas, I just got the 12 once and won't buy it again. I agree with you there. there um, Mike, the, the 12 was, it just wasn't that, that, that amazing. You know, the 13 is where it's at. Honestly, Zan, you could bring this 13 every year. I could see, I could, I, this is a continuous buy. This is definitely, you see, like, this is just, just me. This is my hooker. Um, he is from the Austin Rum Society. Um, if you see the WPM mark from Worthy Park, get it. It is by from my experience from from their releases right because they haven't released a ton of, they haven't released a ton of rum um, of their own but from their releases the WPM is the best mark my friend Mike Hooker here he dropped this on reddit a lot of people liked it uh, they he agrees so ready set rum and oh before I go Zan must buy must try must have this is a must have and sadly, there's only like 400 and something bottles out there, so I can't even must have it. This should be a, a regular release from you guys. A regular release from Woody Park should be this bottle. Hands down. I said it, Mike Hooker said it, and you know, we are people who drop that kind of cash on bottles all the time. So, if you bring it, the rum lovers already love it. They're telling you by these reviews here. Let's get it to market. Ready, set, rum. Taking it around the world. One rum. One great worthy pack rum at a time. Cheers. Cheers.